professionally, you like going to county meetings, please call WJUL and WJRB or send a resume and letter to our Facebook page. The staff and I look forward to hearing from you. The Morning Dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And as long as Pat Malone is already out of bed. Then I might as well ride herd around here. Well, giddy up. And Packy Smith is still special, too. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're walking in sideways. We got a, man, we got a real deal this morning. We had a big dog walk in. We got Bo Hatches with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, how about that, Pat? Hey, that is State Senator Bo Hatchet to you. That's exactly right. I've been calling him sir and all that good stuff. He thought he thought I was wanting to borrow money when I started to say sir. He's like, look, I ain't loaning you no money. <laughs> well, we had an opportunity. Uh, uh, Senator Hatchet was out visiting with his constituents in uh, Towns County, so we thought we'd get him in the studio see what was going on. So. Uh, you're still the governor's one of the governor's floor leaders in the Senate, right, Bo? I am. Yes, sir. That's a big honor. Uh, big push uh, budget-wise this time. I, look, I saw a number that said uh, $32.5 billion budget. That's Is right. That in the neighborhood? That's right. So that's a, a record budget for Georgia. And, you know, the only reason we're able to do it is because we've got fiscally conservative leaders throughout the state that uh, aren't wasting the taxpayer money. I heard this morning, um, you know, California's looking at a $22.5 billion deficit this year, and we're operating at a surplus so much we're about to give teachers another two thousand dollar raise and return a billion dollars to the taxpayers. Okay, how about school bus drivers? I'm a school bus driver. We get part of that raise. I, I, I'll look into that. <laughs> look into I'll look that. into that. We, we need to cover some of that. I think you're right. I you know need to, y'all you are need talking to talk about, to, uh, to uh, Superintendent Barong about that. Hey, I know right? y'all are talking about all this money and stuff, but I mean the, the the Democrats are doing very important stuff. I mean, actually, they actually named a room in the Capitol building after Nancy Pelosi. What are y'all doing important like that? I don't know if that's necessarily important, uh, but we're doing a lot, a lot of good for the people of the state of Georgia. Uh, you know, something Governor Kemp said yesterday is, you know, while while some states are trying to build the government because they think that's the solution, what we're trying to do in Georgia is build up families and people, which is why, you know, number one, I said we're going to give another billion dollars back to the taxpayers uh, as a as a tax refund, and then the next thing we're going to do is a, it's over a billion and a half dollars that's going to go to property tax uh, right. relief, which. You know, it's a good thing your property values go up, but at the end of the year, when you see that tax bill, it's not a not a good thing. So we're going to be able to return some money, and it's just investing back into and back into our people, which is you know what I think Republican politics is all about. It's limited government and building up building up your constituents. Well, that's it. I mean, the red tape's what kills kills businesses and families and all that kind of stuff when you try to move forward. You know, and I'm with you on that. I love the refund. I absolutely love the tax refund because that covers the people that's out there working. You know? Oh yeah, and then you know some other big items I, I think that are important to to talk about. Number one is uh, we're going to give fifty thousand dollars to every school for safety, school safety. They can use that for school resource offices, officers, or they can use it to, uh, uh, you know, start programs or, or buy equipment that they need. You know, the, the future of Georgia is, is our children. It starts in K-12 education. And uh, with the increased salaries for teachers and, and the increased funding and school safety, I think uh, we're, we're making it known that where our priorities are. Um, and on top of that, there's also a, a three thousand dollars stipend for para pros to complete their certificate to become full, fully licensed teachers. Right. Uh, so that's just another another way that we're reinvesting into our um, our students, and not just K through 12. Mm-hmm. You know, we are uh, expanding the Hope Scholarship programs to include uh, careers in law enforcement. Right. Number one, and then we're once again going to uh, continue to invest heavily in, in technical education because you know. We've got such the, – the best asset we have is our people. Yeah. And, and it's true. We've got 
you know, hardworking people, and we need to invest in them and to continue to help them grow and prosper. But, you know, you're talking about the education. That's one thing. My grandmother was a visiting school teacher. They called them a truant officer back in the day because they actually, if you didn't send your kids to school back, they'd put you in jail. But she said, <clears throat> you can go and you can give kids clothes. You can give them all that stuff, all you want to. But if you've given them an education, that'll they, they will take that with them forever. You're exactly right. And that's something that people, I, you know, I'm heavily, of course, being a school bus driver and you see these kids growing up, I like to see them go. I like to see them prosper and become, you know, successful. You know, and I just think the education system is uh, something that we really need to pay attention to. Well, it goes back to you know Jesus teach a man to fish, right? And and he'll never go hungry again. Yeah. And it's uh, I think that's a, the same philosophies that we're <clears throat> taking taking now. And I'm excited. We've got a we've got a big budget coming up. We've got a lot of good things going here in Georgia. You know, we're still the number one state in the nation to do business. Um, and uh, I think we've got some some big things big things coming up. One one thing that we were talking about earlier uh, that I'm I'm pretty excited about is a new committee that we've established in the Senate, and it's called a Committee on Children and Families, and the goal of this committee um, is to make Georgia the best place in the nation to be a foster child, the mm -hmm. best place in the nation uh, to be an adoptive parent, and the least likely place uh, in the nation to be uh, trafficked, human traffic. You know, that's a big that's a big issue. Oh, yeah. And one, one thing that I've I've learned over the last couple of years is, you know, with, with human trafficking, a vast majority of the victims are foster students that were, or foster children that were never adopted out. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, putting our resources into making our foster care system the best, I think will pay dividends down the road. I'm with you isn't, on that. Uh, Senator, isn't uh, uh, human trafficking one of the focuses of the first lady? It is. It is. And she has, I mean, she's kind of led the charge ar around the nation. Uh, and has been one of the first real, um, you know, advocates uh, to to support um, the fight against that. And we've, you know, passed some good legislation that's helped that. And um, I think over the next four years, we're going to see greater strides um, made to to combat that because, you know, that's just in in 2023. I almost said 2022. In 2023, there's no excuse for that to occur anymore. We got to crack down on it. And I think uh, First Lady and and now our Lieutenant Governor is also really getting on board with that. And hopefully, over the next four years, we can make um, Georgia the least likely place in the nation to get human trafficked. But you know, we're of course, uh, Attorney General Chris Carr has uh, done a lot of work in that area over the last uh, couple of years. And prosecute a lot of those cases correct he has he has and, and he's done a great job with that too and uh we've given him some more tools to combat um combat that and and not only that but you know cracking down on gang violence and and drugs that are coming into the state um you know we got an attorney general that's tough on crime and, and wants to make a difference but you know we got gangs actually they're fingering into this area i mean and that's I mean, you know, you think when you think of that, you think of Atlanta, you know, in the big cities and stuff like that. But now they're they're fingering out to the smaller counties because they realize that they're not used to the gangs and they can take advantage of a lot of folks up here and around that are not used to that and they don't think about locking their door or that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're yeah. seeing it all all in Northeast Georgia. They're coming up from Atlanta, and you know that just goes back to one of the reasons why I'm I'm so pro law enforcement. You know, I think every sheriff's department, every police department in my district is understaffed right now, and um, you know, with this this grant that we're going to expand for the Hope Scholarship to include law enforcement training and, and education, I think that's going to help. Um, I guess move the needle a little bit moving forward to having more qualified and and people um, be, get 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 into law enforcement. Uh, talk for a minute about the abortion issue. Uh, I think I've heard that that's probably not going to have much attention because of. The, it's in the courts now, and the governor would like to leave that to be settled in the courts before any additional action is taken. Is that correct? Yeah, it was, uh, Roe versus Wade was overturned, obviously, and it gave the states the right to choose the abortion, um, I guess, the, the laws that they want to implement. Our heartbeat right. bill was already in place and was signed by the governor, but was deemed to be unconstitutional because of Roe versus Wade. Roe versus Wade. Uh, then there was a court case, but uh, to my knowledge, it was overturned. So the heartbeat bill is in is in effect now. Okay. Well, I think right. the thing you're talking about, uh, streamlining, you know, the adoption process and that kind of stuff, I think that'll help. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Um, so you know, what do you see as the other big issues in the Senate, Bo? Is there anything that we haven't touched on that's uh, Senator Bo, important? Please. Senator Bo. <laughs> Senator Bo. 
Okay. Well, I mean, obviously there's there's budget issues, and and on Monday we're going to vote on some of our uh, caucus priorities. But um, you know, I think uh, obviously education is going to be a, a hot topic. Um, you know, I think uh, there's going to be another push to legalize casinos uh, in Georgia, and I'm against that. Um, I don't think we need casinos in the state of Georgia, uh, but I do think that's going to come up and will probably be, probably be a, a pretty a pretty big issue. Um, can you can you split on that issue? Would you be in favor of online gambling, but not casinos? So I wouldn't say I was in favor of it, but what we're seeing right now and some of the numbers that I saw really about a month ago is it's apparently it's illegal in Georgia right now. If you have a South Carolina bank account and you want to place a wager on a sports game in Georgia, you can do it. And all that money that is generated and, and the way it's taxed goes to other states. So we've got it. It's apparently it's almost $200 million in the state of Georgia each year. That's, that's going on right now. So what I'd like to do is uh, find out a way to regulate it, to limit the amount of money people could actually bet. Um, and then get some, get some revenue generated out of that, that we could put towards education and we could put towards program to, to help, um, you know, uh, help people that are addicted to gambling. I mean, it's it's sad that it's a it's a reality here in Georgia. Um, I'm not for gambling, but uh, I think it, at this point it needs to be regulated because it's happening here. Well, in reality, now this is this is my take on it. You got a casino, and all that basically to me is, in layman's turn, is a vacuum cleaner sucking money out of the state, going to other states. I mean, because the people that own the actually own the casino don't normally are from this area right and with casinos comes a whole lot of other stuff too and you know where they're going to put it they're going to put it in the northeast georgia mountains and make it a destination and i don't want to see that i i I don't want to see any of that in the state of georgia and i'll i will stand up against casinos forever i i don't i don't ever want to see them here in georgia Mm -hmm. yeah i'm with you and we got brasstown valley man that's a what else do you need you know that's right yeah we're good we got a big hey steven do we need to take a break I guess we can. I guess we can. Bo, can you hang out for a few minutes? I can absolutely. Hey, Pat, who's who's uh, whose show is this anyway? I mean, Stephen, I I asked your permission (laughs) to do this three times and I got ignored, so I decided, what the hell? Hey, Pat, for those seek forgiveness for those listening, Main Street Grill Grill at nine o'clock. I'm gonna have a a a, just a kind of a town hall meeting to to introduce myself and and hear from voters. So if anybody can hear me and wants a, a breakfast on me. Uh, meet at uh, Main Street Grill at 9 o'clock. There you go. That's good eating up there, too. Hey, Stephen, I think it's Bo's show. There you go. <laughs> hey, Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing, we'd like to thank them. they got the Leak Detector 5000, so uh, we'll be right back with more Bo Hatchet. See? And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. Contenders Cherie Ralston and Johnny Chastain are out courting voters with a runoff election for State House two weeks away. They were the top two vote getters in a five person race earlier this month, and less than 400 votes separated them out of about 8,000 total. Ralston, the widow of recently deceased Speaker of the House David Ralston, is touting her proximity to the state capitol. I've been at the capitol for many years, and I have relationships there, and it would take someone else two to four years form those relationships, I would go in ready to go to work. She tells WJRB that her own political career was something that she had discussed with her husband and had intended on pursuing after his career was done. That's small comfort to her challenger and detractors who say she's running as if she's been appointed state rep, not voted state rep. To that, she says, quote, we don't choose time and place, and sometimes you just have to jump in the deep end, unquote. The runoff is January the 31st for State House District 7, an area that covers Fannin, Dawson, and Gilmer counties. A 39-year-old Hayesville man bonded out of the Clay County Detention Center last week on the charge of indecent liberties with a child. Lieutenant Joe Wood with the Sheriff's Office says the mother of the child came forward December the 31st with the accusation that Jeremiah Birch had touched her daughter inappropriately three years prior when the girl was 13 years old. Wood would not disclose the relationship between the girl and Birch. He did say that it took a confidant to talk the mother into reporting the alleged crime. A forensic specialist has been called in to investigate the claim. Birch was released the same day on a $10,000 bond. All accused are innocent until proven guilty. And electric charging stations for battery-powered vehicles are slowly making inroads in the mountain area. Currently in Union County, there are slow charging stations near the chamber office. And coming soon... There will be more installed near the Blairsville City Hall. 
Downtown Development Program Manager Darren Harper says small towns have to get involved too. The whole point of, of having them is we are that generation of people that are in that transition when you're going from gas to electric or at least other alternatives. There has to be a network built so that people can go from the major cities like Atlanta to, say, New York. There has to be a place where they can stop and, and fill up, as it were. Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Batten. Honey, what happened? You're all wet. I've been trying to find this dang leak. Why don't we call No, I got this. You always turn these things into a DIY. Why did you do that? I'm calling Grayland Leak Detection Service. Grayland has specialized equipment to pinpoint any leak, inside or underground, and fix it fast at a fraction of the cost of replacing your whole water service. Call Eric now at Grayland at 706-897-9110 or graylandleakdetection.com. Finally, our water bill looks normal again. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Rolling down the road with Jackie Jones Auto. Start something new and save at your hometown dealer. Jackie Jones Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hayesville. J.D. Power's number one brand in new vehicle quality. New Ram Bighorn starts at just $42,569. New Cherokee at just $41,725. And new Jeep Compass at just $31,325. Jackie Jones Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Hayesville. We make buying easy so you drive home happy. Price after incentives. Tax DMV. Fee extra. Our young patients from 30 years ago have grown into mommies and daddies, and the Hiawassee Family Practice continues to take care of every growing family. Trust your loved ones with Dr. Robert Stallcut, Shirley Youngblood, and Ray Townsend for preventative checkups and those little sniffles and aches that just seem to linger on. Right next to the hospital on Main Street, Hiawassee, and most insurance is accepted. We know your names, and you know ours. That's how family medicine should be. Hiawassee Family Practice, 706-896-2289. When it comes to helping local companies grow, News Talk 95.1 WJRB, Lake 97.7 WJUL means business. I'm Jane Frazier with Sentinel Plastic Surgery in Blairsville. My husband, Dr. William Frazier, and I began advertising on WJRB and WJUL with no real idea how it would go. 18 months later, we've concluded it was one of the best things our practice has done to reach new patients in the mountain community. The response to the new ads has been very strong, but it's not just that. For us, we've been just as happy with how easy and fun it's been to work with WJUL and WJRB. The commercials sound great, and the staff and personalities are very invested in our success. If you're a small business owner looking for attention, we highly recommend WJUL and WJRB advertising. If your small business is looking for new customers this year, we are the place. Go to WJULradio.com or call the radio station because we've got listeners who want to be your customers. I just heard the screams down at your mailbox and I know why. Your water bill is eight times what it was last month. I bet it's a leak. Call Grayland Leak Detection at 706-897-9110. Get the water bill under control when you call Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing Services. All righty, folks, we're back with you. Hope everybody's listening. We got Senator Bo Hatchett in here with us, and I'd just like to say, you know, last time you were on, it was you was actually running for the uh, running for the senator. You're in there now, and uh, folks, he is one of us. I mean, he's just a uh, country boy. Drove in here in a Ford F one fifty. And how tall are you? About six two and a half. Yeah, he's a big yeah. old he's a big old drink of water. But uh, <laughs> one thing I found out, you've got a, a new baby on the way. Yes, I do. So I guess when I was running, I had one little girl. And another on the way. I've got three little girls right now and another on the way. We're having her on Thursday, actually. Wow. So I'm going to have four God. little girls. You're badly outnumbered there, buddy. <laughs> I am. I tell everybody the only time I'm ever in the majority is in the state Senate. So. Oh, man. <laughs> so we got a name He's, picked out yet? Yeah, we're going to name her Hope. There you go. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good name. Yeah, Lord, four girls and then five. You count your wife. That's right. That's right. Bless your heart. So I just I don't I don't make decisions with the remote or anything like that. Yeah. I just I just got to sit back and uh, watch watch I guess. Oh man, <laughs> I've got a girl and two boys. Boys are so much easier than girls. That's what I hear. Yeah, uh, I tell you, it's like 
it's so fun when I come home because I open I open the door and it's I feel like Elvis because these you know the girls just right. daddy daddy you know, and run and give me a hug it's the best feeling in the world. How old are they? Uh, five, two and a half, one and a half, and then we got the new one coming. Golly, man, you got your hands full. So when you go to when you go to work, man, it's like a breeze. Look like it'd be like a vacation. You know? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> well, I gotta I tell you I gotta give a shout out to my wife because she's she's a super super mom superstar. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without her. And right. she. she you know, she holds the fort down while I'm gone, and I'm l- I'm lucky to have her. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm in the same boat you. I'm married up to. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Out punted our coverage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, after so many years, she just said, oh, "I'll just I'll just run with it." So, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the new one coming. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, yep. we're excited. Yep, absolutely. But uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I like what I call just normal people that's in because you know a lot of folks get in there and it goes to their head. Yeah, and. You know, I want to be called Mister and all that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, we've been cutting up and going on ever since you got here. Just you know, even before you were elected, you were the same way. I think that's cool. Well, I appreciate that, and that's you know what I what I tell everybody is you know I'm I'm working for you, and I don't mm-hmm. I don't forget that, and so I I put my cell phone number out. Anybody can call me anytime seven zero six four nine nine six nine four one. Um, yeah, I I want to hear from you. I want to work for you, and. Anytime I, I get to the point where I'm not effective or I'm not listening, that's when I that's when I'm headed home. Yeah, well you're right. You're right about that. Yeah, I guarantee it. But uh I wouldn't you know, I don't know. That the job that you're in is nothing but an argument from get go, you know, seems like you know Well it is and, and one of the things that I've really noticed is, you know, there's Atlanta and mm-hmm. then there's Georgia outside. I mean yeah. it, it's two it's really operates at, at two different it's almost like two different states and the people that represent Atlanta don't really know about mm-hmm. rural Georgia as much and so Luckily, we've got uh, some strong voices in the Capitol right now that are fighting for rural Georgia, but uh, it's a fight. It's a fight every day. I just, uh, you know, I put this out there on the radio several times. They're talking about building a wall. I think we need to build one around Atlanta. <laughs> just right on 285. Yeah, just right around 285. <laughs> we can vet people in and out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a great idea. Hey, you know, <laughs> it, it could work. It could work. Well, hey, Senator, I know you got a tight schedule and you probably need to – Get on the road to the next uh, to the next event, the breakfast, right? So, where is that breakfast again? Main Street Grill. Okay, and it's at nine o'clock. If you want a free breakfast on Senator Hatchet, he'll be there and answer any of your questions. Appreciate you taking the time. More than that, I appreciate you getting out and talking to your constituents because that's where it's at. Absolutely, and Pat, it's always a pleasure to be on the show. And anybody listening would love to meet with you here in a here in a few minutes. Yeah, all right. not only Sounds your constituents, good. but the people that voted for you, too, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm all about that. That's great. <laughs> but Main Street, man, he's going to be at Main Street. It like the best breakfast in town. So, yeah. It's you, good. Yeah, you hit it You hit it good there. I so, that can be at 9 o'clock. And that's right, 9 o'clock. So, now you've got, before we go, we got a couple of minutes, and we got a gal waiting in the wings. But now you've got some committees that you're on now, right? That's right. Yeah, we, uh, we got our committee assignments last week. So, I'm on the, the Children and Family Committee. I'm the vice chairman of that, the one we talked about. And then, I'm going to stay on the uh, Agricultural Committee, uh, the Judiciary Committee, Health and Human Services, Ethics, and uh, Reapportionment. Do you think there's any way we can get a committee of common sense somewhere in the government, somewhere? <laughs> I don't think that common sense isn't common anymore, and it's especially not common under the gold building, I'll tell you that much. I'd like the to gold vote. dome. Yeah, I'm with you. I'd like to vote for that, the committee of common sense. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> but anyway, but. Anyway, Bo, I know you got to go, but man, I appreciate you. Anytime we can help you, don't you hesitate to call. Well, thank you, and it was uh, good to be here. And Pat, I'll see you soon. All right, sounds good, Senator. Y'all have a good one. All right, we're going to jump to a break. We'd like to thank Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing. They got the Leak Detector 5000, good people, so uh, they can save you some money. And that being said, we'll be right back. Honey, what happened? You're all wet. I've been trying to find this dang leak. Why don't we call some... No, I got this. You always turn these things into a DIY. Why did you do that? I'm calling Grayland Leak Detection Service. Grayland has specialized equipment to pinpoint any leak, inside or underground, and fix it fast at a fraction of the cost of replacing your whole water service. Call Eric now at Grayland at 706-897-9110 or graylandleakdetection.com. Finally, our water bill looks normal again. Hey, this is Samuel from Sleep USA. Is being healthy one of your New Year's resolutions? The best place to start is the place where you spend the most time, your mattress. Getting healthy starts with getting eight hours of quality sleep every night. Something else that will help you sleep better is taking advantage of our 0% interest financing for up to 48 months so you can hold on to your cash to buy your gym membership. 
Visit a Sleep USA near you in Blairsville, Murphy, Franklin, or Silva to sleep well, live well today. The Oaks Lakeside Kitchen invites you back to experience the warm Georgia welcome you've been missing and to taste your way through the locally crafted menu by Chef George. Relax around the dinner table with your friends and family with a curated cocktail at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen. On the shores of Lake Chatoug, the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen welcomes you back. Reservations available at opentable.com. Dinner Friday through Tuesday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen. Plastic surgeon William Frazier and his team are in the business of correcting and rejuvenating skin and the underlying tissues. You could call us Sentinels, guarding your skin's health. We remove and repair where cancers have invaded, including delicate areas on the face, scalp, and ears. Need a head-to-toe skin check? See plastic surgeon Dr. Frazier at Sentinel Plastic Surgery in Blairsville. Learn more about skin cancer at sentinelplastic.com or call 706-439-6486. Yes, he's your best friend, but his listening skills need help. Your dog won't do what you say, and he's jumping all over your parents. We'll take him to the Paws Dog Training and Canine Behavior Center in Blairsville. Our one-on-one classes will help correct your dog's behavior. The website is pawsworkingdogs.org. By appointment only in Blairsville off 515. Call 706-716-9990 for all levels of dog training. Take them to the Paws Dog Training and Canine Behavior Center in Blairsville. Do you have eye problems? Ophthalmologist Dr. Dan Eichenbaum, a graduate of Yale Medical School and the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, has the training and experience to give your precious eyes the expert care they need. Whether it's cataract surgery, macular degeneration, diabetic eye disease, or glaucoma, call Dr. Dan Eichenbaum, 828-837-5404 in Murphy or 706-745-9777 in Blairsville. Medicare and insurance accepted. Quality eye care, regardless of your ability to pay. Wednesday morning is a good time to get to the bottom of why your water bill is so high. If it is, call Graylin Leak Detection at 706-897-9110. Get the water bill under control when you call Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing Services. All righty, folks, we're back with you. We have got a sweet young little lady here. Jesse Haynes got a new uh, song out. I Love You uh, is the new single on the album The Phoenix. Good morning, sunshine. How are you, girl? Good morning. I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I love your name, Jesse, man. I always think of Jesse Coulter. <laughs> yep. I, I, uh, it's got a good ring to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. I can't, are you a Jesse Coulter fan? Uh, no, I mean, neutral. Yeah, I'd neutral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll work. Well, tell us. It's an okay place to be, right? There you go, folks. Y'all can go to uh, jessiehangs.com and find out all this stuff that she's got. Now, this is your fourth album. Is this your fourth album you got out now? No, no. This is my debut album. Oh, the debut. This, okay, I'm, I'm saying. Okay. This is my debut album. Um, this is the, the third single that we're releasing. And we're releasing it, uh, the album, one track at a time. So I started releasing uh, the first song came out last summer. Right in about june and that was the way you kiss and that actually charted um we actually got on the music row chart with that one uh and it was on for about 37 weeks or something like that wow Uh, yeah so i'm super proud of that and then uh recently we released little black dress which is another super fun one um that's just a really cool like going out Going out, put your little black dress and go out song. Um, I look and, terrible in a little black dress. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you look. You look super fly. In a <laughs> super fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that one's like a cool boot stomper. And then uh, I love you is is really more um, laid back, more melodic, and um, a little more soulful, and definitely more emotional. It's so. a, they're cool. That's a cool song. I mean, it really is. And uh, thank you so much. You know, thank nowadays you. to chart, you know, that means a lot, honestly, because I and mean, there's so much out there and everybody's struggling. It's just to chart a song means a whole lot. So I mean, seems like you got a lot going on. Now, where were you raised at? I'm born and raised in New Jersey, actually. Oh, Jersey girl. I am a Jersey girl. Yeah, I'm a Jersey girl. Um, and I think Clint Black is from New Jersey too. Clint Black is. <laughs> Yeah, Clint Black, I think, is from the Jersey Shore. I did not know that. 
um, yeah, there's some, there's some, some good, I mean, people think that New Jersey is not a country state state, but New Jersey is actually a lot of farmlands and a lot of country fans, believe it or not. I, I can believe. Uh, yeah. So, so I was born there and uh, right outside New York city and, um, just a really vibrant, a really vibrant place for, for music, uh, New, New Jersey and, you know, the whole metropolitan area, of course. And I grew up, uh, you know, going into New York city and into Manhattan and going to see shows. And then, and then when I started playing guitar and I, I started being in bands, uh, you know, the cool thing to do was go play the Lower East Side and, and Williamsburg back when, when Williamsburg, Brooklyn was, uh, you know, gritty and, and it was all about art there. Right. And it was just a really, really cool place to be in a really cool time. And so much music heritage, uh, and, and tradition, um, and, and music culture, you know, in, in lower Manhattan. So I was really lucky to be, be able to be there. Not a big country city, right. uh, uh, but, but, you know, as an artist, I've been through actually lots of, of iterations of, of different genres, um, as a writer, you know, you try to like any art, really like any craft, you really try to, to find your, yourself right. as an artist. And, um, I did rock and roll. I did, I did pop. Um, but when I first started playing guitar actually was when I was 16 and those very first songs are very, um, folk driven, right. very singer songwriter folk driven. Um, and, and then I kind of got away from that because, you know, when you're young, you try to stick with the trends and be cool and do whatever's trendy. So I was, I was trying to write super poppy music. And, um, and then, you know, as I got older and, and just got more mature as an artist, I, you know, the whole idea really is just peeling back the onion of yourself. Exactly. Right? I'm with so you. you. Yeah. You just, it's actually a lot of, a lot, the work is, is, getting rid of all mm -hmm. this all the stuff that gets in your own way well actually you becoming know? what you are i think that's that's the thing i like about your music it's like it's your music it, you don't sound like anybody else and that's uh, I, I think that's the thing that really makes uh, artists stand out that really start moving forward is the ones that become themselves mm. instead of somebody else you know because we've got so many you know out there that's trying to be somebody that they're not I, I, I you know i can respect that now you do your songwriting you write you write your songs I write, I write all my songs. Uh, actually, this album has no co-writes, so there. I, I just, you know, I, I love what you said, Stephen. Honestly, about, um, you know, about being individual and finding yourself because it's true, especially in country music. There's, there's really a lot of like copycats. Yeah. Uh, and and really, that's the work. I mean, I think that's the work as for us, not just artists, but as as humans and individuals, is really like getting to the bottom of who we are and. I think that the what you're hearing and that authenticity, um, you know, it's taken me a lot of work to get to that point. A lot of like self work, right. not not musician work, just like meditation work and right. journaling, and you know, just like really getting to the bottom of because you, you know you get to a place where your heart and your soul just wants to wants the freedom to speak, and you don't want to get in the way of that. You know, but, so. you know, a lot of folks don't realize songwriting, how that works, you know, and I, I don't think that's something that you're born with. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that, and, and that's the thing about songwriters, they try to teach other people how to do songs, but I think that's something you really have to have in you. I think you have to have the music in you to, to ever come out with, you know, songs. I don't know. That's just the way I feel about that. But uh, being a singer songwriter, that's even a plus to me because, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that can sing that just get songs and this, that, and other. But when you write your own stuff, and that's another thing that makes you genuine, you know, and, mm -hmm. and kind of stand out from everybody else. But uh, yeah. I don't know. New Jersey, man, we down south down here, girl. You got, <laughs> can you, you got to learn I'm how actually, to do I'm what? in far west Texas right now. So oh, I, you're in I'm Texas? Not yeah i'm in far west i'm in the desert of texas right now in the middle of nowhere actually i i'm air streaming right now so I, I have an airstream and um i i bought it to travel around and um i'm here on a writing 
expedition. So I'm here doing exactly what you and I are talking about is like sitting under the stars and contemplating. Well, I'm going to tell you now that red dirt country is, uh, it is hot right now. I mean, I know Nashville's spitting stuff out right and left, but now that red dirt country they're coming in. And a lot of that's got to do with the fact that Yellowstone, Yellowstone introduced a lot of people to that. Are you a Yellowstone fan? I, I do like Yellowstone. I do like Yellowstone. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you watched the last one yet? I haven't. I've been I've been busy recording my album, Stephen. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe they killed Kevin Costner. Oh, don't tell me what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler, spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell us what goes on. No, I'm just kidding. No. JesseHangs.com. We about to get to the break, girls. Anything we left out? I mean, y'all folks. I mean, listening out there, y'all need to go check her out. Uh, JesseHangs.com. She's all over the internet. You're on TikTok and everything else, but uh, on TikTok and Instagram is the Jesse Haynes, and really good socials are a really good place to follow me to follow along on the journey for sure. Yeah, it is great. But I want to get you back on. I know we was running a little bit late this morning, and I apologize for that. But uh, we got Pat Malone's my co-host. I couldn't get him to shut up. <laughs> He, he looks like a real talker. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, but no, I love your stuff. And like I said, we'll help you any way we can. I want to get you back on, see what's going on. And you're out there in Texas right now. You be careful out there. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, girl. Thank you. All right. We'd like to thank Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing for bringing the show today. We have had a full, full, full house, no doubt about it. But anyway, that being said, we will be right back right after this. Honey, what happened? You're all wet. I've been trying to find this dang leak. Why don't we call No, some- I got this. You always turn these things into a DI. Why did you do that? I'm calling Grayland Leak Detection Service. Grayland has specialized equipment to pinpoint any leak, inside or underground, and fix it fast at a fraction of the cost of replacing your whole water service. Call Eric now at Grayland at 706-897-9110 or graylandleakdetection.com. Finally, our water bill looks normal again. Dad, turn on the heat. Give it a second. Hey, Dad, it's really cold. Guys, this car isn't exactly brand new. Give it a second. So I'm guessing heated seats are out of the question? Wise guy. Hey, guys, it's Andy. Why don't you come see me and check out all the new and pre-owned vehicles at Jackie Jones Ford of Hazel. The new year means a new vehicle, and Jackie Jones Ford is ready to hook you and the kids up with something a little, eh, hotter. Jackie Jones, your neighborhood Ford dealer, Highway 64 West in Hazel. Online at jjfordhazel.com. Why is McDonald's breakfast the most important meal of the day? Because it sets the tempo for the rest of my day. A little slower, please. I can mix and match two of my breakfast go-tos, like a sausage biscuit, chicken McGriddles, sausage McMuffin, or hash browns for only $2.29. And top it all off with a bold and delicious iced coffee in any size for just $1.69. All right, let's speed it up. I've got work to do. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Looking for a place to retire in a vibrant community where you can live, serve, share, and feel safe? At Hiawassee Park Senior Living Community, we are more than just neighbors. We're family. Visit our lovely community today and sit on a porch of our new independent luxury one- and two-bedroom cottages to appreciate the breathtaking views of Lake Chatoog and the North Georgia Mountains. We have immediate availability. Make Hiawassee Park home. Call 762-500-2021. It's a cold winter night, and out of the fog comes the most wicked, awesome pickup you've ever seen. Floor lighters, LED lights, and fog lights, and a killer bed cover for keeping the load dry. There's no doubt where the accessories came from. Rose Auto, the only way to go. Whether up Bell Mountain or down by the water, trust your truck accessories with Rose Auto in Blairsville for an experience you never thought possible. Rose Auto. Haul your truck up to Rose Auto on the Murphy Highway. Your table is waiting at Lucky's Taqueria and Cantina. Mexican-inspired cuisine with a full bar. Located at 17 Merchants Walk in Blairsville. On Mondays, Lucky's features live music and buy one, get one free tacos. Dine-in only. Wednesday is Kids Night with discounted kids meals and a balloon artist. And don't forget about music bingo each month on Saturdays with sports on the TVs. Lucky's Taqueria and Cantina is the coolest, hippest place in town. See for yourself. Lucky's Taqueria and Cantina. Open Monday through Saturday. Saturday. I just heard the screams down at your mailbox and I know why. Your water bill is eight times what it was last month. I bet it's a leak. Call Grayland Leak Detection at 706-897-9110. Get the water bill under control when you call Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing Services. 
All righty, we're back with you, man. We've been rolling it through all mixed up and backwards. We had Senator Bo Hatchet in here. Pat? Yes, sir, we did. He Sorry did. about that. I I thought I should shut up in the second half of the show and give it back to you. No, oh, it don't matter at all. She's a, That's really a real sweet little old gal right there out there trying to make it. She's got some cool stuff, so y'all go check her out. Definitely jessehaines.com. And then Bo's going to be up at town today and uh, – at the uh, Main Street, buying breakfast. He said he's going to buy breakfast. Yeah, that's what he said. I'm going to check. Can y'all talking, cover the rest of the, the show? Talking constituents. Are you going to take off and try to get in on that deal? Not only the constituents, constituents he's going he's to buy for the people that voted for him, too. <laughs> what? Those are his constituents. I thought the constituents was like the upper class and then the Low, well, I don't know. No, the constituents are everybody. Why do they call district. them that? That's a terrible word. Constituences. I have no idea. Yeah. Ask Daniel Webster. It's his birthday today, by the way. From Webster's Dictionary? Webster's Dictionary, They yeah. keep adding more stuff on there. Yeah, I know. So On somebody's birthday, sing happy birthday. You ready? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alvin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy dear birthday. Alvin. Who? The president forgot Martin Luther King III's wife's birthday, or her name. Wow. Wow. How good is that? <laughs> that sounded like the Grinch singing that last song in the in the movie. La, la, yeah. la, la, la. No good at his day job, and he's no good as a singer either. Oh, uh, what is the date today, anyway? It is January the eighteenth, and Biden is the worst president in history. Yeah, there yeah. today in history. Today in we history. Have, hey, we, we forgot to today. Doubt. You know, we've been watching Yellowstone. Kevin Costner today is his uh, is his birthday. It is absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he actually, a lot of folks don't know this, but he and he's been to the uh, Smoky Mountain Center for Performing Arts. But uh, he's got a band too, Kevin Costner and the and Modern West. There you go. And he plays music too. So and as someone who's really important in the movie industry, Ray Dolby is his birthday today. Yep. Dolby surround sound. Yeah, I love that stuff. Don't you? It's the guy that invented it. Yeah, I love surround sound. When it sounds like the cars go. and stuff goes right by you. Mm-hmm. Mark Colley, I'm a big Mark Colley fan. Today is his birthday, 1956. He was the uh, guy that sang Even the Man in the Moon is Crying. That was a cool tune. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know if he's doing all that much anymore, but uh, I don't. who knows? So, anyway. Oliver Hardy from Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, he's a Georgia his boy. His birthday. Huh? Yeah, he was born over there uh, where? Harlem, Georgia. Now, did he not go to uh, college up here at Young Harris? He did. Yeah, I think he's pretty was. cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. I wonder if we can still take that class he took. I um, wonder what he took. I'm doing comedy? I wonder if they do comedy classes over there. I don't know. How did he get his stuff? I have no idea. And a sad day today, Reggie Young died at 82 years old today in, not, in 2019. And if y'all don't know who Reggie Young is, if y'all listen to Merle Haggard and y'all listen to I Think I'll Just Stay Here and Drink and you hear that lead guitar player playing that music, that was Reggie Young. Played with Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Probably one of the greatest guitar pickers ever. So, one, not the, but one. There you go. Yep. So, anyway, Packy said we ain't got nothing to give away. Now, we do Friday. We do Friday. I reckon Friday we're going to be giving some stuff away. And uh, we've got uh, Bannister Funeral Home actually brings a show on Friday, and they're bringing some stuff to give away. So I don't know if they're bringing caskets or what, but we're going to have some. <laughs> get, a free, get a free casket. We'll, we'll get a lot of callers for that, boy. Yeah, wouldn't you think? <laughs> Save you a little money. Yeah. Wouldn't you think? I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, be interesting to see what the. Uh... She said basket, not casket. Oh, basket. Oh, basket. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, my dyslexia, you know how that goes. But hey, what kind of comments we got on there? Hey, good morning to Doug Gibson. Also, let's see, Diesel Power Ford. That's our buddies Jordan over at General Supply. Says if you move to our North Georgia mountains, please keep away of our way of life and leave it alone. Or remember, we like to make noise with our bang sticks, and animals make noise, and dogs bark. And good morning. There you go, or yeah. bang sticks, or bang sticks. 
And uh, school bus drivers need hazard pay. That's what uh, Joey Baylor uh, said. I'm with you. <laughs> you know, I like Bo. I really do. I mean, Senator, ha- what I call him? You call him anything. Uh, just as long as you call him. Call uh, him Bo, call him the senator, whatever you like. Uh, he's a good guy, no doubt. I remember he when he first came in guy. here back years ago, but seemed like he's doing a lot of good stuff. But uh, Yeah, yeah. You know, he was a big uh, star over there in Habersham County. He was their uh, quarterback when he was uh, in high school. Well, he's like six foot two. He's huge. Yeah, yeah. He's a big uh, He's a big boy. Yeah. But he's like uh, uh, melts when he's around those girls. Oh, he ain't got a chance, man. He no, got, no, he no. ain't got a chance. Uh-uh. Maybe that's why he's so tough when he's down there uh, when he's doing uh, at work, you know. Because I mean, you know, you figure all them girls, they ain't nothing could hurt you, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's a glutton for punishment. Yeah. Hey, hey. Stephen, your buddy way down under Copperhead Custom says, "Give away a Vegemite jar." Oh, there you go. Y'all need to go check that out. He sent me some Vegemite, and we try. I tried it online. We was doing a live thing, and it, you go to Copperhead Customs on YouTube and uh, check that out. That was a. Uh, I just, I just eat it by the spoonfuls. You, that stuff's tough, man. I ain't kidding you. Have you ever had Vegemite? I have not. Oof! It just doesn't, take, doesn't even sound good. A little goes a long way. Yeah. That's what I hear. Yeah, a little That's goes a long way. And Brandy Cox is listening out there, too, but we can't talk about Aunt Pearl's Porch, though. Can't say Aunt Pearl's I'm going to quit talking about Aunt Pearl's Porch. They don't bring us more donuts over here. That Isn't that the it. cinnamon lady? Oh, yeah. It brings in big old cinnamon rolls over here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm going to eat good. Hey, Stephen, you know, earlier this week you were talking about the airport over there, uh, Western Carolina Regional. Yeah, in Andrews. Yeah. yeah, and on on our show in the before years, uh, we were talking about the value of airports in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I listen to these numbers. This is just for Western Carolina Regional Airport. They they have helped support two hundred and ninety jobs with uh, twenty million dollars plus in personal income that pays uh, two point three million dollars in state and local taxes. And their overall economic impact was fifty-seven million dollars. I mean, that's in, that's how important that airport is. Well, that's the thing, man. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out here like I always do and make everybody mad at me. But when they fired Galen over there over pettiness, they've lost their mind. Because I'm telling you, do you know how hard it is to make a, an airport make money? I mean, do you know how hard it is to do that? Well, they really, airports are designed to break even. Because they're an economic driver. I know that, but he was actually, I mean, I, don't, I think he was doing more than that. And the thing about it, that place was rocking and rolling over there. And, uh, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, I know, of course, we fly. You know, we're, 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 in, we're in that business. And that's just like, you know, we went to the concert up there last weekend with, uh, with uh, uh, Jamie Johnson. He flew in. That's where he flies to. That's where everybody flies into. And, you know, and every mm-hmm. time they do that, they're making money. I mean, when they fly in, they go into, do their concerts and all that other stuff, not to mention all the people that fly in and go to Highlands because, you know, there's a lot of big dogs up there at Highlands and they fly in up there all the time. I mean, it's it, and, and it's just unreal. And Yeah, uh, no doubt. It'll be interesting. Monday, uh, it's not this Monday, it's the first Monday in February. That's on the uh, commissioner's agenda, what they're going to do with the airport. I think it got personal on that myself. I think that, was, and I don't think you should get your personal uh, issues involved when it comes to politics. I think you need to do what's good for your county and your, as you say, your constitu- constituent. How do you say that? Constituents. Constituents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're I, welcome. You have to leave that laying on the table and do what's good for the people. But uh, I, so, what are they going to do? They going who are they going to hire? Well, I don't know. They're. Uh, I guess the two choices are they could get somebody and make it a county-run operation, get a uh, hire a county employee. Oh, that'd be good. Get the government involved. Anytime the government takes over something like that. Or they could good. hire uh, somebody like Galen, who's a fixed base operator. Why don't you they know? just hire Galen? Um, Why don't they just get Galen? Why don't they just remember get- when you asked Bo about common sense? Ah, no. Yes, I'm with yeah, you. None. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, man. Just rework his deal. You know, make it legal. I understand there were some illegalities in the I, in the contract. I but, understand it was more personal issues than anything. Yeah, well, I don't disagree with you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and, it'd be interesting to see what they do. Well, all I know is my boy is actually, now he is a flight instructor. So if y'all are out there interested in learning how to fly, and I'm telling you, it's a new world. Evan, just call us here at the station or go to Facebook on Evan and all that kind of stuff. 
and uh, he's actually been booking people and uh, already started training. Uh, and it's a uh, man, it's a new world. Do you fly, Pat? Don't you have somebody in your family flies? My youngest son has a plane and flies. Sean has a plane, based down in Jefferson. Yeah, Jackson County Airport. So what kind? Yeah, of, he flies. What kind of planes he got? He's got a, a Cessna one eighty two. Oh, one eighty two. Oh, yeah. Oh well, one eighty two. Of course, y'all are rich. No. Yeah. Well, he is. He is. He's a plumber. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Well, explains everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, but I love so, to fly. I really do. I was scared to death, but like I said, he's he's doing uh, flight training now, which is uh, where's where's he do over in Franklin? He's in he Franklin doing? now. Yeah, he's gonna go to uh, Andrews, but all that fell apart over there, and he's just kind of scared. A lot of people, you know, are pulling the fin because they don't know the direction of that kind of where that's going. So everybody's kind of yeah. you don't want to set up, and then all everything just go to pot. So he's over at Franklin, which is a sweet, sweet uh, airport. But, uh, you know, if you're in, I'm sure he can, as far as that goes, if he's in Andrews, he can land here. And, and, and I think Galen's still doing some stuff, you know. Yeah, his contract doesn't expire until February 3rd because it was 60 days notice. Yeah, so but I know he's, he's still in charge over there. Yeah, he's he's working with Galen. Galen's working with him. And all the stuff that Galen does with all the youth, you know, he's got all that well, stuff how going many, on. How man. many kids has he got involved in aviation? I you know. know. Yeah, and he's got that program up there where he helps them pay for their way through on all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I just hate that. And, I, you know, I know Galen personally, and I like Galen. And, yep, uh, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Good guy. Well, well, uh, well credentialed to be a, a flight instructor with all his years at, as a commercial pilot. Yep. So, so I don't know. Hey, they got a new – they got that thing, man, named after – named a, a room after Nancy Pelosi in the Capitol. Did y'all hear about that? Oh, is it the room where the vodka is? No, I think it's the bathrooms. What I'm thinking, I mean, if I pick one out, but anyway, it's the Nancy Pelosi room. They really the, voted the that Republicans in. Republicans must have been in charge of naming the room. I'd huh? be like, okay, we'll yeah. name the room, but we get to pick which one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Love that's that. ain't that the way you work? Hey, that is good. What room? I mean, what other, what better room would there be other than mm -hmm. that one? Maybe mm -hmm. the powder room or the the basement? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just think about poor Aretha Franklin, man. I mean, the greatest singer of all times, and they made him a post office after her. I mean, a post office? Are you kidding? That doesn't seem appropriate, does I'm it? with you, man. There should be some, like, I don't know, some highway going into Memphis or something cool, you know? That, that's They didn't give her any respect, did they? None. None. Should be a candy I bet bar. They can't even spell it at the post office. Either. That's what I'm saying. We need common sense. We need a division of common sense. There you go. Yep. So there you go. anyway, y'all, we're about to run out of time here. We ain't got nothing to give away. We're gonna have to do a little better than that. And that's all a package job is to get stuff to give away. And here we say it with nothing. Hey, come on, man. I hit the button. Yeah, you got the button. But hey, Bo is gonna be up at uh up at uh where is it at again? I can't even remember the name of it. Uh Main Street Grill Main Street in Hiawassee. Right now, he's up there right now. He's buying your lunch or your breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, so he's going to get you a big old biscuit up there and go out and hang out with Bo. Y'all going to really like him. If you've not met Bo, y'all going to like Bo because he is just, uh, as my daddy said, he's he's uh, our kind of folk. There you go. Yeah, yeah, he's our kind of folk. So There you go. What are you going to do the rest of the day, boss? I got to write a column. I write sales column and a leadership column for a couple different magazines, and I got one that's due. So I spend the rest of the day writing my column. What, what what kind of column? This is like dear dear dear. No dear, no, dear Abby. It's not dear Abby. No, no. Dear it's a, Abby. It's a business column about leadership. And what, dear Pat. Yeah. yeah. My my thoughts on leadership. So. And people to... people pay me to do this, so I I gotta I gotta deliver when the deadline comes we'll up. Start, dear Stephen, over here at the radio station. Y'all send us emails, and I'll answer your broken hearted questions. Pat, there, there are some. There are some people I can't help. Pat Steve. Malone's 100 tips for your love life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't forget Grayland Leak Detection and Plumbing. We appreciate them bringing the show. 706-896-0834. Y'all go check out Bo Hatchet. Hang out with him. Tell him we sent you and get you a free biscuit on hey, top of all that. Thanks, Pat. All right. See you guys. See you, man.